All right, guys, so let's talk about the risks of buying these iPolo V1 Minis. And I'm gonna go through a lot regarding, I guess, the VRAM size of these and also just some food for thought regarding other coins. So thank you to iPolo.com for working with me and also sending me these little ASIC miners recently. Let's recap the specs here. It's 300 mega hash, give or take. Operating temp says 10 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is pretty low. And power consumption is 240 watts, 10% give or take. I'll show you guys at the wall that I'm able to get. It's about 246 watts, so it's pretty much plus or minus 10% of what iPolo says here. So that's all well and good. Now, the biggest thing people decide on whether or not they're gonna buy this is the memory size, which they show here on iPolo.com. Design memory is six gigabytes, but it says available memory 5.8 gigabytes all right so now here's the biggest thing that affects your buying decision i guess for these little asic miners as well as uh, another thing which i'll go through after the dag size for ethereum is 4.914 gigabytes at the moment now let's say six gigabytes uh, actually let's say 5.8 gigabytes all right that's what is the available memory for this so in theory right we can mine ethereum up until february 18th of 2024 so that's still a good while away and of course though we have to think about with ethereum they are going to be moving to proof of stake and so that's going to happen potentially this year maybe next year there has been no confirmed date for the merge yet all right so uh, there is a thing that i want to talk about regarding the network hash rate difficulty block times uh, in a sec here but just to show you guys that this can mine Ethereum up until then, right? But whether or not that's gonna happen with POS and the merge begs the question. So now another coin I wanna show here is Ethereum Classic as this iPolo V1 Mini is now able to mine Ethereum Classic as well. There apparently has been a firmware update which I will talk about later in a sec. So going through here, the DAG size for Ethereum Classic at this moment is 3.008 gigabytes. All right, so now if we put in 5.8 gigabytes here, this will be able to mine Ethereum Classic up until roughly about March of 2031. So that's, that's quite a long ways away. There has been some rumblings of a, I guess an algorithm change for ETC. Right now it is ETC hash, which they did change before from ETH hash to ETC hash. Just a little bit of a different iteration, but they have also talked about moving to SHA-3, which I believe is now cancelled which i don't have it up here maybe i'll i can find the screenshot for you guys but i believe they already cancelled that eip or ecip or whatever so the sha3 is no longer in contention and who knows it could come up in the future we're not sure if that does i'll update you guys but right now it's going to stay as etc hash okay going along guys going along now so let's talk about i guess the prospect of other ASIC miners that you could potentially buy, not just the iPolo V1 Mini, okay? So, you know, as this is 300 mega hash, 240 watts, and I guess another great example, I remember in 2019, the S19s, like the Bitmain S19s, Bitcoin miners, were going for $3,000 or 3,500 bucks, all right? And then the bull run came around, and lo and behold, those Bitcoin ASICs went up to, I think, $15,000, $16,000, so what's not to say potentially right in the next cycle of crypto that the prices of hardware and prices of crypto once they go back up that these could potentially be worth a lot more in the future so just coinciding with ethereum classic and these ipolo v1 minis what's not to say that ethereum classic could have a next market making event a next run up with bitcoin cycle right dogecoin as well the same idea can apply with these l3 plusers or gold shell mini doges that have been coming out recently you guys know in the past year what's not to say dogecoin could pump again what's not to say ethereum classic could have another another massive pump again and be profitable for mining especially if you're playing the hardware game of buying these when it's the bear market when buying these when it's not profitable now that is what most people are not understanding so that's not financial advice that is a very big risk in doing that type of play that's something that a lot of people don't realize and understand all right so that's just i just wanted to give some food for thought and obviously talk about the risks of buying these types of ipolo v1 minis hopefully you guys can understand what i'm talking about and i do believe not financial advice that ethereum classic will one day go back to another new all-time high 
of course, with the Bitcoin cycle. Anyways, guys, that's the risk. That's all I want to talk about. Let me quickly touch on the firmware update that I just did. It was very easy to do. I downloaded it here from iPolo.com. I was on, on an older version. I just went to the firmware tab and updated the firmware of this thing, all right? And uh, it was very easy to do, did it, and like a couple minutes later, it restarted, came back in, now we're on the latest firmware version, uh, 47.55. So apparently we can do ETC on this, but it's mining Ethereum right now, and uh, yeah, it's it's getting it's it's not getting a 300 meg ash because I just started it 23 minutes ago. It does take a bit of time for it to round.